Hey Simmers so and welcome to the channel. My name is Simply Koya and thank you guys so much for clicking on my video to watch today. I'm so excited because I am bringing you my first video, first creative sim here on YouTube and I'm just super excited. Like I have been playing the sims basically my whole life so I don't know why it took me literally this long to finally start a channel but I'm so excited that I did because this is the fun part. Like as broken as The Sims 4 is, you know, you gotta love her. She's still fun. We still have a good time. So I just wanted to share my content with you guys. And starting off, I am using this sim here to start a legacy challenge. I've been really into those lately. So I think it'll just be a lot of fun to do that. And right now I'm just trying to find like her vibe, like what looks best on her. But I literally have so much fucking custom content in this game that this takes this is a process this takes several hours to like get right because i'm trying to achieve the perfect sim every single time so i do end up making some changes like to her eyes and change like her lip shape i just felt like what i had there originally i just didn't really feel it it wasn't like working with her face and like the look i was going for so i went in i changed that and now i'm just fine tuning her look and adding like a lot more details i really really love adding freckles and different things like that i just feel like it adds so much character to the sim the blush the freckles adding a little bit of makeup and it just like everything just comes together so when i first started making the sim it was like point of no return i was just like i don't know if i'm liking how she's looking it was just certain things that i wasn't enjoying i don't know if like you guys have that same thing happen where you're making a sim and then you're kind of like ooh, i don't think i know what i'm doing right now i'm like i'm not liking this and then you go through add other details add a little bit of makeup some more character and then you're like oh okay she's pretty cute so i end up absolutely loving this sim and you're gonna see her name pop up in a minute or if you're watching this video you obviously already know her name is pandora and i just loved that name for her i don't know why i just it just like popped in my head and it just felt right so as i'm going here and i'm adding blush i realized i really wanted her to have like small freckles on her face so i go back in again to the skin details and trying to find which freckles will overlay with like other like more distinct moles so this took a little bit of time and it definitely ended up coming together so i was really happy about that because at first i was just like oh no i really want her to have like these really cute freckles and then body moles and it just it wasn't working at first i hate when you can't like overlay multiple multiple skin details in like one go does that even make sense okay it, you guys know what I'm saying but anyways now we're moving on to hair and this is like where things really changed for me like I started using this reshade by Elena it's called sugar cookies amazing seriously I didn't know anything about, I've been playing the sims like my whole life and I've been playing sims for since it basically came out and I never knew anything about reshade like what was I doing before this because look at how amazing this game looks and I have been alpha cc queen like I don't I never like from the second this game came out i was like this hair is awful i'm never using it and then i started using this reshade and now i feel like everything just looks amazing like she looks so good so i'm definitely trying to like pick out the right hair for her i go through a ton of different hair options and again another process that takes me way too long but i finally settled on this bob i just felt like it really worked for her and now we're just adding piercings and giving her a little bit of edge because i am going to be using this sim in a legacy challenge like that's what i want to do with her so we're probably going to be doing the family dynamics challenge but comment down below if there's another challenge that you either haven't seen anyone do or that you really want to see because i feel like family dynamics is a really popular one and like in my personal gameplay i've done the not so berry already and i only got like five generations in and then i started using reshade so i kind of totally ditched that entire gameplay but i'm so so excited to play with this sim and I just watched, well, I didn't watch the whole Maxis live or whatever. Today is November 23rd. Yes, this is 23rd. So Maxis or EA, they just did like a Maxis monthly catch up, whatever those things are, live stream. And yo, they're adding some, they're trying to add some gameplay. They're trying to give us what we've been asking for. And I'm super excited to like test a lot of the new gameplay out on Pandora. Like I think throughout her gameplay, it'll be super fun. So I, I really want to like start up some drama. I want it just to be interesting. And I like the family dynamics challenge for what it is, but there are so many challenges out there. Like, honestly, we could do anything. So comment down below if there's a certain challenge that you'd like to see, but I definitely want to do something legacy gameplay related. So I do give her like the family dynamics traits, but obviously that can all be changed. So 
right now we're just going in i'm adding like these little eye flicks and tattoos i love giving my sims just like lots of piercings and tattoos because i'm just obsessed with piercings and tattoos myself so we are going in and giving her just like a super cute and edgy look and i ended up landing on a different yeah i ended up landing on this tattoo set mindful be what am i saying all right so down below there's going to be all the links to everything and also to my tumblr so you can have easy access to all the links and everything for all of the outfits and all the cc that i used on the sim and now i'm just putting her outfit together and i wanted her to kind of have like a cute girly casual vibe so i really wanted to test out like skirt and boots and like off the shoulder sweater like i just felt like it really worked for her so i'm gonna have her move into oasis springs i already built her house and i really oh my god i wish i recorded it for you guys because honestly that house is amazing i think it's by far the best sims house that i've ever built and i'm obsessed so she's gonna be living in sun or in oasis springs so i love that the top is like sunset the palm trees in it it was just like so fitting for that world so that's her first outfit and then i wanted to give her a second one i want to take you guys at least through like two outfits so this outfit is also a favorite i think it looks so good on her and i just wanted to test out a couple of different options i wasn't sure what bottoms i wanted to go with this look but it was definitely giving me 90s vibes for sure so i definitely wanted to give her something a little more casual maybe something a little baggy so it took me a while to land on something but i have to plug the creator this is them because i use their jeans for this look and honestly these are like the world's best jeans like these are the kind of jeans you want in real life honestly they give me like levi's top shop vibes and i'm just obsessed with them i think it worked perfectly with this look even like the tone and the shade like these literally look like my favorite jeans in real life so had to go with these jeans shout out to this is them they make some amazing content you have to check them out it is behind like patreon post so honestly if there's like one thing you want to pay for on patreon their content is like really awesome so i just had to say that but now i'm going with the shoes and another process that literally takes me forever but I finally landed on these like chunky sandals just to go full on 90s. And then I gave her like this really cute little Louis Vuitton bag and changed out the accessories, kind of put this look together a little differently. And this is Pandora Daily. This is our final look and I'm absolutely obsessed. Such a vibe. She looks so cute. And I also used the five traits for Create a Sim. So I gave her the three traits she needs for the Family Dynamics Challenge, which we can change. Comment down below if there's another challenge you'd like to see instead. But then I also gave her the Sweet Tooth trait and the Appealing trait. So, you know, make that romance a little easier because sometimes you just cannot find that right Sim. But this is our Sim. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.